Ninja Turtles in a darker tone. Everybody wants it, but they won't give it to us. At least it seemed like that for a while until we got Batman vs. the Ninja Turtles, where in that movie we saw the turtles drawing blood on screen, and it was magnificent. Now, I don't know how that movie performed financially, but reviews all over the web seem to be pretty positive for the most part, and everyone seems to love it. And dare I say wanting more? Let's backtrack and set this all up. Okay, so recently there have been talks and interviews and stuff. It's just a big rumor of doing the turtles in a darker tone on screen. And in this video, I want to talk about four different ways or formats or mediums in which you could pull this off or, or which I believe they could have the most success in pulling this off. So as I go through them, I'm going to list them off. Go ahead and let me know down below in the comments. You never know who's watching. What would be your favorite way to intake a darker toned version of the Ninja Turtles. Let me know down below in the comment section out of these four options. If you could only have one, if the people in charge of the Ninja Turtles said, okay, we'll allow a dark toned Ninja Turtles, but in this one medium. Yeah, hear me out on all four and then let me know down below in the comments which one you think would fit best. But let's go ahead and kick it off with the first one, the one that has kind of gotten everybody talking about a darker tone Ninja Turtles again. There have been interviews with some people, even the co-creator, uh, Kevin Eastman of the Ninja Turtles, talking about a Netflix Daredevil style Ninja Turtles show. Or one would just have to use their imagination and guess that a show like that would have to have a decent sized budget so you'd probably get about what, anywhere between like eight and ten episodes a season and then you'd have to wait for the next season if it happened to be lucky enough to get renewed which if they could pull it off properly would be something a bit unheard of and profound there have been shows like daredevil dc has titans uh, you know the flash and there's been live action superhero shows but one where you're four of your main characters would be in suits or CGI or however they would pull it off would be groundbreaking to a certain degree. I'm not sure if there's many shows like that out there that has that type of setup. You definitely get everybody's curiosity peaked and if they pulled it off it would be something else. Out of all four options here I feel like this one would sh probably send the biggest shockwaves throughout just I don't know pop culture or the internet or whatever. The only hiccup I see potentially with this one is the people doing the live action movie reboot would have to coordinate with this show somehow either to make them so completely different that people you know see them as two separate versions of the turtles as to not confuse people i guess or coordinate with them in a sense to where the show leads up to uh, i talked about this before in the past an, an event that is the movie and then go from there but I'm not quite sure how that would work I'm sure they'd have to jump over some hurdles to getting their TV actors into being in the movie I know there's issues with that sort of stuff but I'm not exactly sure what they are but I have heard of stuff like that but it has been done I think Nick Fury appeared on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. a few times and stuff like that as an example but yeah a dark live action Netflix Daredevil style Ninja Turtle show how would that look? I'm very curious. That one definitely piques my interest. Let's take a look at the second option here. Now, this one doesn't have any real hiccups as opposed to the other three and has already kind of been started with Batman versus the Ninja Turtles, the animated movie, and that's animated movie. Animated Ninja Turtles movie in a dark tone could be pretty interesting. We've already kind of seen it and it was pretty fun. Only thing with those is they got to pump them out a little quicker if they do end up doing it like that. The gaps in between each movie should only be a year max and you could do so many different things with this medium. You could do it to where each movie is a self-contained story and the turtles are drawn in a different way each time. Maybe even do some throwbacks every once in a while, throw in like a Mirage Ninja Turtles movie where it's the Mirage Turtles, it's in black and white. Maybe even take a look again at the Batman Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles, and see what they're doing in their little kind of corner of their universe. And just, again, new versions that we've never seen before and just have these dark turtle stories 
that are all self-contained. Or you could do something a little bit more serialized where you, you they pick one design and they pick a story arc that takes about, what, three or five movies, all animated, and just release one a year and just have the story, you know, go through a beginning, middle, and an end through those five years. So I guess this second option kind of has sub-options if you look at it like that, but pretty much second option is animated movies in a dark tone now how to distribute this this is kind of you can do it a couple different ways when it comes to animated movies uh you could do it the way they did batman uh versus the ninja turtles where it's on blu-ray it's on you know all the streaming places like itunes and amazon you can just order it there and stream it or you could do something like they did with how they're gonna do with the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated movie that's going over just straight to Netflix. They must have struck some kind of deal to where they were able to do that movie and it's going straight to Netflix. That'd be cool to see them strike a similar deal with a, a darker version of the Turtles with their own animated movie and do the same thing. But yeah, option two, animated movies all right option three is the live action reboot movie that they're probably working on right now as we speak if not in the next couple months this is another opportunity to make the turtles just a bit darker 1990 movie style maybe in today's day and age you could go a little darker and get away with it this one i also feel would send shockwaves throughout i don't know the internet if it came out the trailer came out and the turtles looked like the old school turtles and it looked good and it just you could just tell that the movie was just gonna be a little bit more dangerous i guess dangerous is probably a good word because it's strange when you look at the old trailers from like the, the 2014 movie uh it looked like it was kind of dark like it look thinking back like leonardo lands on the roof you know but i think just the designs with that one they were just kind of a little bit unappealing, at least for most of the Turtles fans. Some people like it. And I don't know, I just never really felt like anybody was really ever really in danger. It just felt, everything just felt so over the top that anytime something happened, you were just kind of numb to it. So I guess if they go dark with like the reboot, more like a subtle, like dangerous vibe. And not so much like an over the top dangerous vibe where everything is like exploding and shredder looks like a pocket knife with all the blades pulled out i think subtlety is key when it comes to the turtles and when it comes to the actual action having choreographed like really good choreographed martial arts is what i feel like people are there to see not really so much things exploding and falling over and people flying everywhere you know what i mean you know what i mean so that's option number three go darker with the live action reboot that they're working on right now and let's take a look at option number four this is one i think about every day i feel like ninja turtles could own a day of the week i feel like saturdays could be their day with rise of the tmnt in the morning on saturdays and then on saturday night when all the younger kids are already asleep a darker ninja turtles cartoon series on nick at night now it's hard to compare the two because one's anime and one's not but i remember when dragon ball super started up a few years back which is the sequel series to the dragon ball z series from back in the 90s for some who may not know or just out of the loop when it comes to that stuff i remember saturday nights was on fire all the time it was always cool when you knew that the new episode was going to come out and everybody went like on Crunchyroll or wherever they streamed it and you just watched the newer episode of Dragon Ball Super. Was it as good as Z? No, but it was just, it just got everybody excited again about Dragon Ball. Now you see that Super Saiyan with the blue hair like everywhere. I see it all over the place. And I would have to say, I don't know for a fact, but most people watching it had to have been in anywhere from like their mid 20s, early 20s to their mid late 30s. People, I feel like a young adults will watch an animated series. Now for people who actually watch it, they're like, of course we watch an animated series. I'm not, I'm talking more to people that go, oh, you know, animated series is, you know, it's more of a kid's thing. That's kind of the audience I'm talking to when I, when I say this, when I say that. Some people just might not know that that's what a lot of young adults in my opinion will watch and they'll watch on the regular attack on titan was another similar show that had a similar impact on me when it was uh when the earlier seasons were coming out a couple years ago but bottom line you do a darker ninja turtle tv series at night people are going to tune in and check it out especially if the story's great and the designs hook everybody in 
Word's gonna spread. But yeah, just some options on how to do a darker style Ninja Turtles seems to be something people have been talking about lately. And I just kind of been thinking like, what are some ways, you know, to pull off a dark version of the Ninja Turtles? And these four just seem like the most viable ways to do it. And I just wanted to share them here with you guys and kind of pick your guys' brain and see what you guys think down below. Out of the four, which way do you think is the best way for them to go with a dark, toned version of the Ninja Turtles. Let me know down below in the comments. Spread the video around as I feel like this topic needs the most input from everyone, all the Turtles fans. Let me know down below in the comments. Spread the video. If you're not subscribed and you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That's all we talk about on here is Ninja Turtles. If you're a fan, if you're just a casual fan, you just kind of want to hang out and talk Turtles, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. If you're enjoying the content, press thumbs up. That's it for this one, guys. Hope you're enjoying the videos, working on a ton of more stuff. So stay tuned. I'll see you in a little bit with another one. Take care. Hey, Turtle fans. Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to follow me on all the social media platforms, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. It's a good way to stay in touch with the channel. And also, if you want, go ahead and give the video a share on your social media platforms, Reddit, Twitter, all that stuff. And let's spread turtle mania to the world. Once again, thanks everyone for watching. It really does mean a lot. Pizza dudes got 30 seconds.